being Beaver the Pride Athlete of the Week mean to you? Um, it's such an honor. Um, I know there's so many talented you know, athletes at our school, and I guess just uh, it's something to work hard you know, towards, and it's an honor to get it. Okay. Now, this weekend, or last weekend, you had a hat trick. I know it's not something you go out and play for every weekend, but when it happens, it has to be something that's special. Yeah, definitely. Um, I was surprised, you know, as anyone else. Uh, it was my first one here, for sure, and things were going my way, and my linemates are awesome, and they get me the puck, so it was a lot of fun. Okay, now, and you also had, you had a hand in every goal of the series, and you guys swept. What does it mean to you to be, to have that kind of a role on the team? Obviously, you're a senior, but to play that type of a role in a weekend that was so important for you guys, the WCHA sweep, what does that mean? Um, it's funny, I'd, you know, you don't even think about those things. Um, I go out there every game and try to do the little things right, you know, get the puck out, out or block a shot for my teammates, but we have a lot of other people doing that stuff for us as well. Um, so, you know, I... <laughs> I guess I try just to play my own game and let things take care of themselves. All right, we're here with the male Beaver Pride Athlete of the Week, Dustin Cropland. Dustin, how does it feel? It feels great. I mean, like I said before, I mean, the offensive line and the fullbacks did a great job. They don't get enough credit. I mean, it was nice, but I'm not the only one working out there. 200-yard gain last week, career high. Uh, also tacked on a couple touchdowns, including a career high 45 yard run. Um, is, it, is it this type of day where everything's going right and everything's feeling good? Oh uh, yes sir. It seemed like everything was going right but looking at the film you know there's still things that we need to clean up this week in practice before St. Cloud. I mean when we mesh you know we execute you know I feel like we're unstoppable and as a team as a great team I think we can beat St. Cloud when we execute hard like we did Saturday. You guys were able to put up 450 yards of total offense uh, against against Northern last week. Uh, how do you take that momentum and, and positive uh, feelings into next week against St. Cloud, which is a pretty strong team? Yes, sir. I mean, you, you take it. I mean, you, you take it with is what you can. I mean, you take it with a grain of salt. Like I said, there's still, still things that need to be cleaned up. I mean, we have great, we have a great offensive coaching staff. You know, great defensive coaching staff. And I mean, we're, they're going to put us in the best position where we, where we can succeed. I mean, we'll come out and execute and hopefully come out with a W.